Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back, welcome back. This is a little cool for music here, yeah, people, you know what I mean? Today we have a plug-in to, to, um, to discuss, you know? All you know, Ozone release, Isoto release Ozone 8 on, um, I think it was Tuesday, I think. Same time, they released a plugin called Neutron 2 at the same time. They released two plugins at the same time. People, you know what I mean? I'm to tell you something, people. When it comes to mixing, uh, mixing should be the easiest thing to do. You know what I mean? This plugin we're gonna wanna review here is really for people who lazy. People who don't wanna like use the EQ, don't have an idea how the EQ work, don't have an idea how the compressor work. Who they just wanna put it thing on on, on, on on the track and make everything their song flush without doing any work. Isotop actually make this plugin for people you know what i mean yeah they make a plugin called neutron last year to me it, it was missing some things so many things it was missing see now they come back now they realize one was a kind of failure so they come back with a counteraction to, to, to neutron too is a smarter way to mix people you know trust me people the plugin is wonderful very wonderful when it comes to mixing stuff like a vocal and you come to mixing instrumental and like say like say a, a producer senior a, a, somebody will be them the senior the kick the senior the um senior the, 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 the whole package and you want to like so long and mix it now this plug here now give you the choices here now instead of mixing a, a, a rhythm a full rhythm or full instrumental for someone Normally it take like two, three days, you know what I mean? But this plugin here, within eight hours, you should complete a, a proper mix. See? This plugin here will con will contribute you to make you want to mix. Make you want to go in the studio and and and, and, and mix that track. Yeah. So I installed the plugin. So I went and for that did the trial and I and I and I say, you know what? Let me just buy it and done. See? So I purchased this, I can't remember how much I purchased it because I had to purchase the ozone for like three ninety nine and I and I gave me a discount. See? Give me a discount. Cause it's hard for me to go and pay a next four ninety nine to go and you know what I mean? That's like yo, that is the close to a thousand dollars already in, in, in a week in a week time. So I I, I installed the plugin, see? And I have a I have a instrumental, all I don't know, I like to do dub mix, you know. My work is based on dub dub mix. I can mix a rhythm. I can mix. I normally mix rhythm, but the work I've been getting lately has been like dub plate mix. Like if somebody like an artist want like a like a different like a hip hop artist want to sing on a two track and they want me to mix the vocal, definitely I will do that for them. But I could also mix a rhythm from scratch. I personally do that. You know, back in the day, I, well, I usually do this. You know, but Lately, my work been coming in like as a, as a dub plate. People link me to do dub plate, dub plate, and a, and a mix that doesn't turn it on. That is one thing I doesn't do is turn on job. You know what I mean? Only thing I never really sit on and do was a rock and roll. You know what I mean? But I could definitely do that. You know what I mean? I definitely could could mix a, a rock and roll track. I did it in the past. I did it for free. And a couple of times I did it. My neighbor, when I was living in somewhere in Miami. My neighbor was like a, a upcoming rock and ro rock and roll artist, and I did and then the mix action mixes track for him. See, I needed love it, you know. So drink, drink some water now, you know. Please hot dread, you know what I mean. So I have a dub plate here. To, I have a dub plate here today. Someone asked me to like mix the vocal for them now, you know, because they didn't like all the vocal. They didn't like all the vocal song, you know. Yeah, they didn't like all the vocal song, so. I'm gonna mix the vocal here and the rhythm I use is called He Pray. He Pray Rhythm. I didn't know if know that rhythm. Ninja Man have a song on it. You know what I mean? I can't really remember the name, but all in was known. So we're gonna just go and play a piece of the rhythm right now. I'm gonna turn off my cell phone. Somebody call him, man. I never about to make a video, somebody always call him. Yeah. Yeah, somebody always calling me. So yeah, so um I'm gonna continue right now, you know. We're gonna play the instrumental first and then we're gonna play the vocal now, you know. 
Yeah. With the instrumental first. Let's see the instrumental. They don't know the instrumental play already, you know what I mean? Everything, me, I very, very, when it comes to mixing, I love to mix, you know what I mean? So I just like showing you all my stuff I've been doing, you know, on a regular basis. So we're going to play the vocal right now. It's a dub plate from a song in, I can't really tell you, I can't really tell you the name of the, the song because, you know what I mean, people ask me not to really play the song name. But the song is based in Europe, you know what I mean? I've been getting a lot of work from Europe lately. Oh, Far East, I call it the Far East, you know, somewhere at, you know what I mean? If I'm, they're from Switzerland, you know what I mean? Big up to this song living in Switzerland, Link Man, Song Clown asked me to mix the duplet for them now, you know? So, we're going to play the we gonna play the vocal and I'll listen to it then now. It's a vocal from Etana. I don't know if you all know Etana, the big reggae artist living in Jamaica. You know what I mean, and you know, yeah, she's a nice artist. To me, she's a nice reggae artist. You know what I mean. So, listen, I can play this vocal two times. I'll hear the vocal, then we we'll go into the the neutron two after. Listen to the vocal. Listen to the vocal, eh? Ah, uh, forget to press mute, you know. Yeah, listen to it. Cause them not for last of five And I live, I live all bright So tell me what them are going to do now Hey, tell me what you're going to do now Hey, tell me what you're going to do now Kill another jump on Cause them not for last of five And I live, I live all bright So tell me what Well, you can hear the vocal, the vocal song And you can really actually hear the the the, the hear like the, when the when the artist is like the hear like a fan was in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear that. They can actually hear it on the in the vocal like you hear some kind of thing in the background. See? Reason why the man didn't like the man from Sudan, he didn't like the whole the, the track the song. Because of that that noise actually hearing it. Actually hearing it. I never he never tell me what he just tell me he didn't like how the vocal song, but I actually hearing what the vocals wrong with the vocals. So by playing with a lot of focus and a lot of a cappella, I know what need to come out and what need to not what need to not to come out. You know what I mean? So we go one process the, the track right now. People when I install the the um the neutron too, the first thing you have to do is insert it onto the onto the track you're gonna use. First we're gonna insert one on the instrumental. Right? And then we go check it. If you're using Studio One, you can do this. The reason why I love Studio One people is because I can keep, keep this thing open. Most most do most doors, most doors you try to do that and you can't do it. Most time if you try to insert a next plugin, it gonna just fade away. And to me, that is a that is a slow process for me. That is why I always use that was always use um Studio One. See it first and then I'm going on to the vocal track here now. See it? Right. But this is me now. This one for this side. This is the instrumental here. Right? So it got EQ, compressor, compressor, two, two compressor, exciter, and trans shaper. See it? So, what you gotta do now for the first time, you know what I mean? First time, what you gotta do now, let's, let's, let me, let me um, bypass this first. So you guys can actually hear the, 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 the rhythm and the and the song together playing at the same time. So I want nobody feel like I, I forget to play that now, you know? Yeah, we're gonna play that first, you know? Listen to the rhythm and the track together. I don't wanna keep this with them under 30 minutes, you know. I wanna try to keep it under 20 minutes. Yeah, listen to the track. See all the track song in the real level and stuff. 
right now it's something kind of good to me it's something kind of good you guys might be saying man i don't really need to touch that you know what i mean so what we're gonna do now since i was talking about we're gonna put back on the plugin this is vocal and this one is this one here is this one here is the instrumental you know what i mean i like to name my stuff and you know? on my track them is say you say instrumental and vocal now the first thing to do is uh, to make this the process so easy you gotta click track assistance right we're gonna do we're gonna do the vocal after now listen to track assistance right they're asking you the first thing after you click track assistant people and you know i mean this is some easy easy thing you gotta do you don't need to like go and figure out what eq to use what compressor to use you just click track assistance right and gonna give you three options you can either click auto detect or you can just choose let's say you're working and you're working with some kick see you just kick you kick um you know you, you put it on um percussion you know what i mean or you put it on bass if you're using bass you know what i mean but the best thing to do is leave it on auto detect see you want to know if it can detect the right preset because track assistant what track assistant is do it gonna give you a preset of the of, of the song that's playing like you say you, you it need some eq it gonna it gonna do the eq for you it, it gonna do the compressor for you you know what i mean all you gotta do now is leave it on balance the style that balance style warm and upfront to me when you keep it on balance you get you get a, a safe eq when you're dealing with the instrumental scene and clearly intensity you go do low high or medium your best bet is to leave it on medium and all you gotta do now is play the instrumental See, let's say let's say you click next right right let's say you click next right here with all playing the music look what, look what you're gonna, gonna tell you waiting for you music to play See, you always had to press music because this thing is very intelligent you need to this thing is very intelligent so what you gotta do now is click play on the instrumental because this is the instrumental track we're gonna use you know listen watch all this thing going configure what preset to, to choose now look 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 at it you see that it finish you see determine instrumental type setting the preset adjusting the module and parameters you see the all three thing i ain't touch anything see now look at it all you gotta do is click accept right and you go to the eq you see what it gave that nice curve out roll off a little bit you know what i mean yeah so now listen to the track now song now with the instrumental config with the, with the neutron config now listen to Viper right now it's subtle that's what you want when you're mixing you want subtle changes you don't want no big set of changes people you know what I mean see right on the instrumental finish see instrumental is finished right now so we're gonna go on to the vocal now we go moving on to the vocal let's see the equal in, in touch nothing nothing in touch yet nothing in touch yet what you gotta do now is press mute on the vocal track press mute on the instrumental and now listen to the bring up track assistant we're gonna leave all the settings the same so watch it now, people. Watch what what what's gonna happen now when I click play. Cause 
ain't got nothing to know. You see, everything, it do the same thing. All right? It say determine instrumental type, setting the preset, and adjusting the module, the module parameters. All you got to do is accept on the vocal. You see how it say? Neutron voice. It detect it was a vocal. See, it detect it was a vocal. The instrumental, it couldn't, it don't have no name for it to really leave it at neutron. So you saw this, it detect as, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a vocal. So let's listen, look at the EQ. Watch what it did. You know, watch what it did to the EQ. Right now, the vocal become bright after this EQ. This is very precise, people. And I mean, if you want to use this plugin, you know, it's going to get almost the right perfect EQ when you're mixing. Almost the right perfect EQ. I like, I'm going to say 85%. Because I've been mixing from, 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 from Sunday. I've been mixing with this from Sunday. See, from Sunday, I've been mixing with this. And I'm telling people, this is amazing. I did a lot of mixes already. I didn't really had to touch anything. You know what I mean? This is what, what I want. I want to run in my studio and just slap this on and, and had to do nothing. People can't really tell me what's it different with this plugin and, and some wave plugins. You know what I mean? This is the, might be the future right here, people. And I, I, I ain't saying it. Uh, this might be the future. This is going to be the future mixing. You know, they do no mixer that touching no knob again. This thing doing 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 exactly what you want, you know what I mean? So look at the compressor. Look at the everything here. Look at it. Everything's so nice and I'm listening to the So and powerful. So and powerful. Being only listening to the track in, in context of the mix here now. Listen to the track. So beautiful is song in. And next thing there too, Neutron. Neutron did something nice, you know what I mean? They had something called Visual Mixer. Neutron Visual Mixer, people, you know what I mean? They had something called Neutron Visual Mixer. See, what you gotta do now is put it on the Visual Mixer on the Master Bus. See? You gotta put it the, 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 on the Master Bus. See? You got to put it on the Master Bus. So you know, I gotta t I'm gonna take out the code re reading, reading two arm thing. So I want them to confuse you guys, you know? Yes. What you gotta do now? Right. Now you see now everything out. So you listen look at it right now. The, you when you when you have visual mixer, because I use it, I have the advanced. I don't know if the basic if the basic I have the the visual mixer, but I definitely I use an advanced right now. So what you gotta do now is put Neutron visual mixer on the master bus. And what you gotta do now is play the track. Right? They say you wanna see the vocal. You click vocal like this. You gotta click the vocal thing and, and bring up the vocal. Now if I look at what, what happened when I load on the volume on the vocal. You see, I actually low down the volume on the vocal track. I don't know if you've seen that. I have low down the volume to like 34, negative 34, without touching this volume knob right here. You know what I mean? So, in a sense, this is good for like remixers and stuff. Sometimes you want your vocal to song over the rhythm, this can do it for you. Look, look, look what happened when I raise it. No. This here, this uh, this knob here, neutron is the instrumental, and this one is the vocal. Voice is the one below. Now, if I raise up the the vocal to song a little 
over the rhythm now, you're gonna see the difference. You see, oh, I put the vocal on the left side. You hear the, the, the surround go, go to the left side. If I put it to the right, you're going to hear the vocal on the right side. Trust me, people, you know what I mean? This is the future. Trust me when I say that, you know what I mean? I just give you a little review. I don't really, not really master it yet, but I just give you a little like, input on it to the use it in all the tracks because I've been like using it for like for the last two days and I'm telling them man my mixes them song and perfect I mix the only song and perfect already this actually enhance it you know what I mean this enhance it see see like here you just raise I like to write some 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 dub plate different dub plate you, you get a different vocal you people like to hear the vocal over the rhythm you know what I mean you need to put vocal over the rhythm it's, it's not overpowered to me, it's insane. But it's a good future, really and truly, when you're doing a full mix. So if you have the snares, you can always put the snares to the left, a little slight to the left. Or you have a, 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 a bass, you keep the bass in the middle. If you want to run some piano, you run it to the left. Man, trust me, people, man, this is the perfect thing for mixing. And I'm sure a lot of plugins will be following this. See, what you got to do next now is... What I, what 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 it, it came with was something called tonal balance. See? When you insert this after the after you actually had to insert tonal balance after the visual mix visual mixer. See? And it had like a couple of presets. It got bass heavy, modern, and oh, I don't know. It's like some kind of piano. I kept it on on modern. Now listen to its song. Yeah, I just keep it on tonal balance. I don't really have the definition for this yet. Understand what this how this work. I just find when I have this on the track, on the master bus with the visual mixer, my track is song so perfect. So hope you guys can understand what how I did this. You know what I mean? People go on, get the plug in, or they could try to know the mix, you know what I mean? Because it's a very easy, easy EQ now. You don't want to really worry about somebody running, running, you're running the vocals, running the vocals a little too hot now, you know? So when you slap it on the arm, remember you had to use track assistance and leave everything as it is, you know what I mean? And and you're good to go, you know? So I hope everybody can I love this video. Remember to share and like this video, you know what I mean? Yeah. Have a blessed day. Oh man, this might be 30 minutes. Yeah.